Hey guys, here Marta Geek in this video I want to share with you guys my personal review of the new Nintendo 3DS XL, the US version. Um, and I'm also going to tell you guys if it's worth or not upgrading from the old 3DS XL to the new 3DS XL. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and mention the things that I like the most that has been upgraded here on the new Nintendo 3DS XL and first I'm gonna say the performance the performance of the new Nintendo 3DS has been upgraded uh, you can notice the the Nintendo 3DS XL um, turn on a lot faster uh, when you launch a game it launches a lot faster uh, the loading times of the games are a lot faster as well and um, you can obviously notice it as you're managing around everything every settings and even opening and downloading things from the um eShop you can you can notice the difference between um how fast it is when you compare it side by side with the uh, old Nintendo 3DS XL uh, another thing that I like is that um some some people are not going to like this but I do like it um that now they upgraded or downgraded however you want to call it from the from the memory card SD card to the micro SD card. I actually like it because since I have lots of cell phones, I have lots, lots of micro SD cards and I really do hate using um, the adapters. You can get an adapter for, you know, micro SD cards, but I don't really like it. So I rather use the proper, you know, micro SD card. So for me, that's a plus. I really like that, that they did that this time. Another new thing here is one thing that is very, very visible is the C stick right here. Like you see on the old 3DS, it's not available there. Um, here it is available. Uh, this is a lot better. Believe me, guys, it's a lot better to you uh, when you're playing uh, third person games, like for example, Monster Hunter and Resident Evil. Uh, Revelations, I feel is very, very good when you're using the C-Stick. Also, when you're using this game right here, uh, the code name Steam, uh, the C-Stick comes in very, very handy. Is It makes the game uh, a lot more smoother when you're playing, a lot more managing, and it feels more console-like. That's that's the reason they added that there. Honestly, I would have preferred see an, to see another thumbstick. I think I, I would have preferred that, like right here, and move these buttons somewhere else, and just leave this section right here for two thumbsticks. I think it would have been better to have two thumbsticks, but okay, they decided to go with the C-Stick. It feels kind of funny at first, because it actually doesn't feel like a thumbstick. It feels like a button, but a very, very rigid button that you have to uh, force it to do whatever you want. But once you keep on using it, it just becomes natural. Another great improvement here has been the battery life. Uh, I've been getting very, very good battery life. I've been playing nonstop with the new Nintendo 3DS since I got it out of the box. And um, I've been using all the features as well. For like, for example, the street pass, I've been using it. I left that on. The Wi-Fi, I leave it on. I, um, You know, this calculates uh, the steps that you take and you earn coins every day. I've been leaving all that on. I've been also leaving on, for example, the video, the Nintendo video app automatically downloads new videos to the Nintendo 3DS when it's on standby. So you get the same features here. But the, the thing is, when I played on the this Nintendo 3DS Excel, I would I would only play the games that I wanted to play because this is basically my daughter's. So I just to just take it from her when whenever I wanted to play a game. But I never was invested in using the 3ds excel all the time like i actually do with my playstation vita so but this time around since i got this for myself i've been used trying to use all the features that i has to offer like the street pass the parameter and all that features even the even the me maker um, the me plaza and all that and it's pretty good it has a lot of great features and for example yesterday i took it off the charger i was playing and when i went to work i played lots and lots and lots of smash brothers i played the demo of codename i played like three um levels or chapters i don't know something like that and i put it on standby never turned it off i haven't turned it off since i i i bought it i just turned it off at the beginning of this video so you can see how it loads but um since last night it haven't been turned on and right now like you see here i only barely beat 
one bar but of course i use the 3d a lot too as well i use the 3d a lot effect as well and if you turn it off you can save more battery they claim you could get around three three point five hours to seven hours playing nintendo 3d games and you could get a lot more if you play regular ds games Another great feature that has been added to the new Nintendo 3DS XL is the NFC capability. Uh, now you can use Amiibos, which is Nintendo's Play figurines, on the new Nintendo 3DS. And it's just freaking awesome. It's kind of cool and it's crazy. It's awesome idea from Nintendo, which obviously is, gonna, is working very, very well for them because they're selling millions of this i think the, yeah i think they already passed the millions already um they're selling so many of them and they're gonna keep selling a lot of them as they keep up coming up with new characters um and it works very good you just put it here on the screen and it will automatically recognize very very fast your your amiibo when you put it there and it works very good you know right now with the new nintendo 3ds xl there's just a handful not even a handful of games that's compatible with the amiibo this right now there's a um, you got smash brothers you got um the ace combat there's an ace combat game that you can Put the amiibo and you would get like uh, the planes customized to whatever character you put there's a couple games more that are coming out with this and of course the amiibos is just going to be another cash cow for them and i think that's a very cool feature that they did that they actually put the amiibos there i just wish i just wish they actually let the nfc to be compatible with, um, for example, games like uh, Disney Infinity and Skylander and bring Disney Infinity and Skylander here and let us use the toys, you know, the figurines for Disney and Skylander here. Wow, if they do that, they would open a floodgate of cash. They would open a floodgate of cash cash for nintendo another feature that i really really love that they totally improved was the 3d effect uh, the 3d effect here now tracks your face like you see right here it has another camera it's like a little camera right there or sensor that it tracks your face it tracks your eyes so when you when you move your console like this with your plane you move your console like this or you move your face side by side as long as you're looking at the screen the 3d will look perfect and it looks awesome. I, I like it. You know, I like it very much. I've been playing almost every single game that I've been trying here on 3D. And it looks great. Like, for example, Resident Evil looks amazing here uh, with the 3D completely on. Uh, Super Smash Brothers looks great. Uh, Monster Hunter 4 looks awesome as well and code name um, steam looks very very great as well so for me the 3d finally being able to use the 3d effect is just a very very plus now let's talk about the things that i do not like about the new nintendo 3ds xl and it's the fact that it does not have a charger out of the box now i know that the excuse for nintendo is that well if you have a 2ds if you had a ds if you had a 3d if you had the old 3d xl you could use the same charges but what if i don't have one what if i traded in my my 3ds old one or my 2ds or my ds i traded in to get this one guess what i'm they're not gonna take you without the charger you know, a lot of time, well, depending what you do. But the thing is, when have you bought an electronic device in the United States and never have a charger, never have included in the box the cable? It makes no sense. It, it would be it would make no sense if Apple, for example, net for the next model, the, the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 7, Apple says, well, we're not going to include a charger because you could go ahead and use the, the charger for the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6. You could go ahead and use those chargers so that way we don't have to include it in the box and we can make the box a little bit smaller. Really? Imagine Sony. Sony says, well, the, I, the PlayStation 5 is not going to come with the cord because you could just use the cord of the PlayStation 4 or you could use the cord of the PlayStation 3. It makes no sense. It's the same thing. You know, I think that is stupid not to include the charger, even though this is cheap. It's around $10. But if it costs you $10 to buy, how much does it cost so Nintendo? It must cost Nintendo not even $3 or $2 because they make bulks and bulks and bulks and thousands and millions of this, maybe. 
You know, so it costs them nothing. It costs them maybe a dollar to make a charger. And it costs you $10. So for me, that stupid excuse that you have and you could use your old charger, that is stupid. I think that's not a fair excuse. Another negative thing that a lot of people are going to have, I didn't have the problem, is that that transferring to data from the old 3DS to the new 3DS XL, it's a little bit painful. You got to go ahead and see the, the, the instructions. Uh, there's a lot of steps you got to take if you want to do the, the transferring. You can also do it wirelessly, but it takes a very, very long I myself, I, I started from scratch. I built my own uh, Nintendo ID. I built, I, I started from scratch, so I did not transfer anything. But for anybody who it really, really cares about the save data from the old systems to the new system, it's going to be a little bit painful. But yeah, not, it wasn't painful for me, but it, it will be painful for you maybe. So that could be a negative right there. Another thing that I would have to mention a negative is the screen resolution. Because, um, you know, the screen resolution is um, 800 by 240 here in the top. And uh, for being a, uh, you know, they did improve the performance of the system. And they did improve the 3D effect as well. So, you know considering that there's going to be a lot more better games coming up in the future you know there's going to be also some games that might not be compatible with the old 3ds excel the old 3ds considering that and that you know they try they're actually upgrading the system they should have upgraded the screen as well they should have upgraded the resolution as well and they didn't they just gave you the same screen um the same pixel per inch and uh, same size and everything so for me the screen resolution could have been a lot better but still games are made exclusively here for the nintendo 3ds 3ds and it looks pretty good it still looks pretty good okay guys so that is it that's my review of the nintendo 3ds i gotta say they did a great job here with the new nintendo 3ds and i really do like everything that they did here except for the cons that i just mentioned um but one question a lot of people keep asking me is it worth upgrading from the old 3ds to the new 3ds and i would say honestly if you're very very invested on nintendo games or the franchises and you're expecting to play all the future games um keep in mind i think i've heard and i've read that some future games are not going to be compatible with old consoles i've heard that and I also th heard that the there's gonna be an like an NFC little dongle that's gonna be pairing up with the sensor over here in the back, and it's gonna be a separate device where you're gonna be able to use your amiibos. You're gonna be able to do that, but the fact that this does not need need a separate device, you could just use the screen right there and put it right there, and that's it. And you really really like the concept of amiibos? I think yes, it's totally worth buying for the fact that the amiibo integration is a lot better, and the fact that it, if it's more future proofing your experience for new games um new games like i said new games might not be compatible later on in the future a year from now might not be compatible with the old 3ds and the c stick is very good you don't have to be using the the prat the pro pad something that came of that third that came for the for the 3ds and 3ds xl i think yes it's totally worth buying another reason you might want to buy it is that if you bought the first 3ds because of the 3d you know a lot of people actually bought the console because of the 3d including myself i purchased this for my daughter because i actually wanted to play 3d games you know and i could just take it from her whenever i want to play a game and use the 3d effect but the thing is i couldn't play games on 3d because it was very it was painful, you know, it was painful and for me, it was unplayable playing 3D games every time you move, even the buttons, every time you move the, 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 the console slightly moves by just pressing the buttons or a lot of action going on the screen, you will lose the, 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 the gameplay experience, you will lose focus on the game, the game will look blurry and all that, and that for me, I just, by default, I just by default always had it off, and I would turn it on, I would turn it on to see the cutscenes, and it was awesome, the cutscenes looked great but the thing is here it has been totally improved right now since day one i've been playing all the games on 3d so if you are one of those that purchased the original one and want you purchased it because of the 3d and couldn't enjoy it 
this is the one to get. This is the one to get. Here you're going to truly enjoy the 3D experience of all the games. And the games, when, when they are on 3D, they look better than having it off. Having the 3D off. So, guys, that is it. Just want to share with you guys my experience with the new 3DS XL. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you guys think about my pros and my cons. Uh, what are your pros? What are your cons? And do you think it's actually worth it or not? And do you agree with my arguments? <laughs> Let me know, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Till next time.